In this video, I again want to talk some more about uh, volumes and uh, and again, I'm going to set up the integrals. I'm not necessarily going to calculate them, okay? So, and I'm going to be pretty general. You can see I've named these two functions, f of x and g of x. f of x is the parabola, g of x is the exponential. To find area, of course, we always just do the top function, which would be f of x minus the bottom function, g of x, between their bounds, which are negative 1.995 to 0.639. Now, imagine if this thing were revolved around the x-axis. Okay, so let's think about that. We've taken this thing, and we would revolve it around like that. It would end up, when it's revolved, looking like a donut. It would have kind of a hollowed-out part. So remember, we'd have pi r squared minus pi r squared to find the area of that shaded part, big circle minus the little circle. You could factor a pi out, and it would be big R squared minus little r squared. Now, I point this out because sometimes people think that you just find the difference in the radius and square it. Squaring is not distributive, so we can't square the two, we can't subtract the two things and square it. We have to square each separately, okay? So our integral is going to be pi, same bounds, 1.995 and 0.639. And we're going to have the big radius, which we said was f of x squared minus the little radius, g of x. And that will do it. That will help us find the volume. Now, if instead of rotating around the x-axis, we rotate it around the line y equals uh, negative 2, well, what we effectively did right there draw that is we made the radius two units bigger than it used to be. So it's going to look very similar here. We're still going to have pi, still going to have the same bounds, but the radius isn't, isn't f of x anymore, it's f of x plus 2. And the radius isn't g of x, it's g of x plus 2. Okay. Because I have just made the radius larger than it used to be. Okay. Make sure you see that. Make sure that you see that as you slide this axis of rotation down, you know, if, if you're spinning this around, if this is your radius, as you slide down, the radius is going to get larger. So we add that axis of rotation in. Okay. Now, if instead of rotating around something below, we rotate around something above, like y equals 6. So we took this shape and we spun it up like that. Okay. It would still be circular, right? It would still look like this and would have a hollowed out part. So we would still be doing pi multiplied by our two radius squared. But to get the radius, we would do six minus the functions. And the reason it's six minus the function is because six tells us how far off the axis we are. And a function tells me how far off the axis I am. Well, I want to know the difference between 6 and the function's height. So I do 6 minus. Now what you'll notice here is besides having to do 6 minus, the order actually changes. So we've got 6 minus g of x squared minus 6 minus f of x squared. And the reason the order changes is the outer part of our shape is now dictated by the lower curve because we're rotating around something above. Again, you really want to pay attention here to these, these uh, um, rotations. Uh, you know, 
area, of course, is just the top function minus the bottom. Rotating around the axis, well, we just have the top function rotated around and the bottom function. And you've got to remember you're doing a circle minus a circle. We're always, we're always integrating an area. The dx serves as our, our depth or our, our height of our cylinder. Uh, but, so we're always just rotating what looks like the areas, pi r squared minus pi r squared. In this example, rotating around negative 2, we've made the radius 2 units bigger. So we've got the function plus 2 as our radius, and the other function plus 2 as our radius. When we rotate around something above, like this, last example, We've got 6 minus a function as our radius and 6 minus the other function. This idea right here is so important because so many people will think, can I just do the big radius minus the little radius and square it? This, what I've circled in blue, is so important to remember that it is pi r squared minus pi r squared. It's always the big radius squared minus the little radius squared once you've factored out the pi.